the Limitless Blue. Hard. Okay, so... In this fight, you've got the two cannons here. Uh, those will become active at some point. They're dragon killers. Um, this is Bismarck. Wonderful flying whale. Um, you really aren't fighting him as much as you're fighting his ads. So we've got this little tiny thing in the middle that will protect us. A little bit. You get close. And he's going to slam the island. Doesn't matter where you are, you get stunned. After that happens, we get adds. Each tank will take one. These, you can stack them, um, but you don't need to. Stacking is more for the uh, extreme mode. Okay. Once they are down, I want to use the shield generator. Okay, dragon killers are now available. So you shoot at both the dragon killers, you run up to this green spot. Green spot is best place to stand. And you run up and you start beating the crap out of the carapace. Pop your cooldowns, do what you have to do. This is what you want the cooldowns for, is destroying this carapace. You want to jump off before it... as you can. If you fall off the island in this fight, you don't get a res. I'm going to... Get the aggro and just pull it over. I've got both of them under threat, so... Not trying to be a jerk tank. So, if you have the uh, this thing activated, well, I'm just gonna stand here because they're gonna run on, jump, and destroy the last few almost instantly. So now we enter the second phase. You're going to get two. Um, worms. Two of these guys, and they need to be tanked apart. Do not tank them near each other. Okay. So the other tank looks like they are not going... There we go. So they get a damage and, um, They get a damage buff and a, uh, they take less damage when they're near each other. Alright, we do not have our shield generator anymore, so if the boss decides to ram us, we all get stunned. We want to avoid the, um, the different elemental effects that are going on. You have the tornado, which will knock you into the air, running action for a little bit, and you will have a spot that will get hit with water, and you'll take damage. Doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, do your best to avoid getting hit by things. So yes, when these two guys are up, you do not want them next to each other. And avoid. 
So after these guys go down, we will have another thing of ads. I'm gonna run over here, get ready for the ads. If the dragon killers become active, then we go for the dragon killers, but I believe there's a wave of ads first. Oh. Is raid wipe AoE. If you don't kill them within a certain uh, time frame, then you'll get wiped by that. Now we get the ads. Stunned. You gotta be careful with the stuns as well because stuns will always come right before an AoE is supposed to go out. Um, there are worse weather um, effects going out as well. You'll see these vapor bubbles. Don't you need to die? Right, now we should have the dragon killers coming up. They're going out. Boss is being plugged in. And now we can attack the boss directly. So we're likely going to have one more round of adds. Well, maybe not. If somebody limits breaks now. Oh, I'm getting off. Maybe it's extreme that you get knocked off entirely. Okay, so we've got one more group of ads, and then we will down Bismarck. Other thing to notice that the island that you're standing on can be destroyed if Bismarck hits it too many times. There we got weather change. Vapor bubbles. Okay, then we got the dragon killers that are going to become active momentarily. That looks like maximum gourd fell off the edge. All right. It looks like somebody used the limit break to kill one of the ads. They just run up and you kill that, and that is the limitless blue. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like follow, and subscribe, the usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch, link in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.